we yeah, look warm like now, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, wrote, <laughs> I wrote that, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, a, it, uh, yeah, I guess it has been 10 years, yeah. There's a lot of wear and tear uh, yeah. from going on the road. A lot of acts will go on for six months straight, and they'll have to take off because they're just too tired. How do you keep yourself together doing it for 10 years? I don't know. Um, um, I think, mate, basically, you've got to enjoy it playing, really, you know. We enjoy the music, and we like playing to audiences, you know. That's, that's what gets you going, you know, what keeps you going, really. What's the biggest problem you face when you're on a constant schedule of touring? Um, getting up in the morning. Getting up in the morning. <laughs> Going to bed at night. It's yeah, that's a problem. Well. Yeah, that's a big problem. Does it? Uh, well, your health has to, has to be very important. Yeah, um, it's difficult to <laughs> say, like, with eating de good food and stuff on the, the road, you know. Which is yeah. rough to, to get on the road. Yeah, you know, you've got your certain hotels Actually, we, we, we live like kings, really. Yeah, we do. We really. do, we do very well. You know. We usually have, st in the... Uh, <laughs> no complaints. No. At the show, no. we usually have, get, get taken care of anyway, as far as anything... Ah, that goes. Yeah, whatever you want. Let's backtrack a little bit. Sure. Uh, it was very interesting when I was reading about your first U.S. tour. I think uh, for a lot of our viewers, they just see what's happening now, and they don't know behind the scenes of the dues that you paid. It's a very interesting story about uh, the first one was a very low-budget show. Is that correct in putting a title on it? Like that. Yeah. Which one? The Oshkosh show? Is that? The... Yeah, the Wisconsin show. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was one where we... Uh... I guess we could talk about it now, right? The, uh, sort of bit yeah. Slightly, slightly illegal, really. We, we could. We can talk about it. Yeah, we, we, uh, when we came over, we, you know, we needed visas coming from England, and uh, they didn't come through in time, like working visas, so we just came over anyway, you know. And uh, so the first show we had to do for nothing, you know. In fact, the first few shows we did for free, you know. So they were already booked. We couldn't get money because it was illegal for it, so we just... Uh, and uh, we still did doing free shows, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. A little okay. while ago. <laughs> well, there are some other dues being paid. Uh, is it true that uh, your manager ran the lights and mixed your sound? Oh, yeah. At the yeah, time? Was, yeah, he, he used to do the whole thing. It was like a... Something else was interesting. How did you ship your equipment? Oh, we used to put it on planes, yeah. And, uh, as luggage. <laughs> yeah, as luggage. <laughs> it, it didn't stand up very well. How did you get... Uh, how long did you get away with that? Well, uh, I don't know, we travelled right year. after about a couple of years, two or three yeah, years. Yeah. You had and just we, the one guy who did the equipment. You know, you had the band, four members of the band, and a manager who did the lights and the sound, and uh, had another guy who took care of the equipment, getting it on the planes, and occasionally have to bribe some of the people to put it on the plane, you know, as luggage. Then, uh, then we heard about trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That was a big day when we heard yeah. about trucks, wasn't it? Yeah. They say, well, you can put it on a truck. It's yeah. a good idea. How often do you get a chance to uh, watch other performers in concert? Uh, sometimes, you know, we come into the city and because we live out on the island uh, and to see a band or there's local clubs out there that, uh, that have bands on and stuff and uh, Stony Brook University had some good people coming through from time to time. Uh, yeah, once a year we get out, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> when you go and see an act that's on the fog hat level of, yeah. pro, of being a pro, a pro, a professional, yeah. uh, do you sit in the audience and critique their show to yourself? Or do you take it in for No, I usually enjoy it because I'm still a fan, you know, I still like music, I still like, I still buy lots of records and... Uh, we always take a bag of rotten tomatoes, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk to us about uh, your latest album. Okay, in the mood for something rude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, you talk it's a good, a good basic uh, fog hat album. Uh, we approached it very much as a live kind of thing. We in the studio, we we kept the uh, overdubs down to a minimum, trying to get the live feel of the band, which is basically what fog hat is about. Really, is that live energy. And uh, Nick, who produced, he wanted to get, you know, he wanted to capture that, but in a studio, you know. Um, so the album, we rehearsed it a lot before. Yeah, we, um, had a lot, we had a lot of, a lot of extra songs, really. Yeah. But we sort yeah, of picked just... the uh, best album. Do you and feel that's the best very, album? In fact, it was one of the quickest yeah. albums we've ever made, I yeah. think, wasn't it? Tell us about uh, your latest video. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one we did for a song called Slip Trip Fell In Love. Um, we had an idea, uh, we got together with the video people and had an idea to do a 
kind of like one of these old uh, Sherlock Holmes movies. We took that approach and we, uh, we found a place up in uh, wherever it was. Wilkes Barry. Wilkes Barry, yeah. It had a lot of old trains, train carriages, and we went up there and uh, did this thing. It's sort of based on uh, uh, Terror in the Night, which is a Sherlock Holmes movie from the 30s. You and the boys playing? We will be officiating again for our sixth straight season. To form the Blues Base.